So we're now going to be talking about a subject that is hugely important for you as a training nutritional therapist. This is a subject that so many people get wrong. So many people will come to see you that are struggling with overeating. And to be completely honest, most people don't realize that they're doing it. Most people don't realize the problems with this. So today we're going to be giving you some understanding and some depth so that you really can guide your clients towards better digestive health with that understanding that's crucial. So what's the problem with overeating? Well, it's quite a few problems with it, to be completely honest. We are overburdening the digestive system. We are demanding a huge amount from organs like the stomach and the pancreas um, to release these digestive juices, to mechanically break things down. We said earlier on that digestion is a very energy dependent process. Depending upon the foods that we're eating, we can make it more or less energy dependent. You know, heavy, dense proteins will demand a lot from our body in terms of energy, in terms of ATP. That's a lot of that sort of energy currency being used up there to, to break down that steak that your client's eaten. That's, that's a lot, and we have to take that into account there. If people keep eating and keep eating and keep eating, they will also use up their digestive enzymes. You know, if you use up your digestive enzymes, they will get to a point where you will become pretty much depleted. Your, your stomach, your pancreas, your you know, saliva will be less concentrated or will be producing sub, uh, secretions that are less concentrated in those enzymes. Because if you keep using up enzymes, you know, you're using up proteins that have a lot of very crucial raw ingredients. They're made up of lots of amino acids. And when you use them up, you can't just keep reusing them. You have to break them down and start from scratch again. So when you keep overeating and overeating, you will impair digestion, and as a result, you will lead to malnutrition. You know, you will be malnourished. One thing we find that's very common in modern society is that people are eating so much junk food. You know, so much food that's really um, nutritionally deficient. There's not anything in the way of good nutrition there. And what we find is that people eat and the food doesn't satisfy their craving. They then get hungry again and they eat more and they eat more. The body is quite literally hungry for nutrients. It wants good nutrients. And if you're not putting that into your, uh, into your mouth, if you're not ingesting that, that will be very problematic. Now that's made worse in the food industry by some companies adding in chemicals to food that make you want to keep eating more. You know, literally increasing your appetite. They stop you from feeling full. So think of those foods, maybe those snacks that you have tried before where you just can't stop yourself from eating more and more and more and more. Well, that really works to the benefit of the person selling the product, but it doesn't work to the benefit of your health and your digestive system.